What's up, y'all? It's Key, and it's Tama. Welcome back to our channel. We're back here with a mukbang. <laughs> so today, I have made some shrimp and broccoli. As you can see, ankle shrimp again. <laughs> Takiya made this delicious food today, mm -hmm. and we want to do a mukbang and a story time, right? Yeah, story time. You want to tell them what we're going to talk about? Okay, so we're going to talk about the time that we traveled from Texarkana to D.C. on a bus. Oh my gosh, on a Greyhound for 48 hours. It was crazy. But to me, I'm hungry, so. Yeah, me too. So we're about to Let's dig eat. in and talk at the same time. Mm -hmm. It looks so delicious. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay, so the reason why we had went from Texarkana to DC was because it was kind of an emergency where basically the person that I got my apartment with. In the state of Arizona, everything is split in half. He basically left and went back with his girlfriend and left the apartment to me. So I was paying, you know, the rent and everything. He got mad at me because I also was working for him. Mm -hmm. He got mad at me and turned my water off. So at first, I'm like, Tamina, it's fine. Maybe we can do without water. That wasn't working. Imagine being without water and we had clothes to wash. We had hair to wash, like, and we had to fill up like a bucket of water. And Takiya had to literally like crush Tide Pods in a bucket of water. And to wash clean our all clothes. My, yeah, all our clothes in it. I was washing underwear. <laughs> washing my ass in the bucket <laughs> it just wasn't working so you know i called my mom my mom toya and she was just like just come back home to give it ain't working i was worried about my credit score because you know i had to break that lease mm -hmm. and you know my credit score it did impact my credit score but my credit score is going up luckily yeah, but um you know i was like fuck it let me go back to dc so at first we were gonna get plane tickets to actually fly to dc but that was being cheap <laughs> because we were like really tight on money too because yeah. i quit my job he cut off the water and i was in the states for three months so i didn't have a job yeah so i had to feed two people and everything and still pay my bills pay the water electricity and gas it was just hard for me. Mm -hmm. So we decided to take the Greyhound. And at first, I don't know how long, how long was the trip? It when was we, supposed to be like 25, 28 hours, I think. Yeah. But a lot of things happened along the way. So basically what happened was at first, like I remember it was early in the morning mm -hmm. and Takiya told me to hurry up because we have to like literally make it to the Greyhound. Because if we don't, then, you know, we're going to miss the bus. And so I left a lot of stuff in that apartment because mm -hmm. I had to literally run. So when we got to the Greyhound, Greyhound station, they told us that the bus was delayed. What was it, from Dallas or something? Yeah, it was from Dallas. Yeah, from Dallas. It was about delayed for, how long was the delay? The thing was, they didn't tell us. They, they didn't know. They didn't know. The delay said we could be waiting there for five hours. Mm-hmm. They didn't know how long we was gonna wait there. Mm -hmm. They didn't know. They didn't have an estimated time or anything. They just said that it was gonna be delayed. So we sat there for like around five hours or something, didn't we? Yeah. And we were mad as shit. And then the lady got us some donuts because she was like feeling sorry for us, I guess. Finally, the bus came, and we were on our way to what was it, Memphis? I think we were on our way to yeah. No, we were on our way to Dallas first, wasn't it? I don't remember, to be honest. To be honest, I think we were on our way to Dallas. And after we had left Dallas, everything was like smooth sail. We had left Dallas. And we stopped 
for a rest break, right? At a gas station where the truckers go, whatever. And, you know, I wanted to get, something told me to not get off this bus. Mm -hmm. So we both stayed because we got stuff from Walmart and everything. We got sandwich cookies and juices and all that <laughs> stuff from Walmart. Because we were low money. Guess what the fuck happened, y'all? <laughs> Be, like, before we got on the bus, they told us that there's a guy on there, a man, that had Alzheimer, Alzheimer's, and, you know, be careful with him, just, you know. So, when we got to the gas station, that man was missing. So, basically, they had the police come in there searching for the guy. Nobody was allowed to get off the bus until we found him. I even started looking for yeah, him. Yeah, everybody started looking. I'm like, like so what he? did the man look like, y'all? Because I'm mm -hmm. trying to go. We was there for an hour already. And the man himself, he was on the fucking bus trying to look for so the person that was lost. <laughs> he was sitting on the bus this whole time. And everybody was looking for him. So, I was so pissed. Yeah. He was sitting there laughing. So the police basically made, made sure that he was okay. And then they left so we could, you know, continue our journey. Like, yeah. our trip. And then we got to, I think, Memphis, right? Yeah, we got to Memphis. Yeah. That's when some more bullshit started happening, y'all. We got to Memphis, right? Tamina wanted something to eat. She got chicken tenders and fries. <laughs> and then, so, like, okay, so there was, like, in every stop that we went to, like, it was, like, a delay every time. Every time, and it was some bullshit. Every time. Yeah, so I was like, okay, I'm hungry now. The snacks, like, we, we even lost our snacks on the bus, I think. We left them. Yeah. So I was like, I'm hungry now. I got some chicken tenders and fries, as Takiya said. And then, like, all of a sudden, while I'm waiting for the food, they're calling us. Like, you know, y'all have to get on the bus oh, now. Oh, we're going to leave you. Yo, we're going to leave you. The bus driver didn't get two shit. Yeah. She had an attitude. She had an attitude. I am like her. So I was like, I'm not going to be left here in Memphis. And Takiya had already got on the bus, I think. Yeah. So I was like, you know, forget about the food. It's not done yet. I'm running to get on the bus. I got on the bus and Takiya's like, where's your food? And I'm like, I didn't get it. And she's like, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, go get your food. <laughs> I'm I'm like, like, I don't want I to. I go get your food. Yeah, so I got off the bus again to go get my food. Mm -hmm. And then when I'm coming back, they, I see that they're telling everybody to get off the bus. No, no, this is not what happened. I got on the bus again. Yeah, and, and then they tell us, oh, to get off the bus. Mm -hmm. Because somebody smelled like weed. Somebody had some zinc on them. They wanted somebody to admit who it was. And nobody admitted. Here's the thing. They were smoking in the bathroom. Yeah. Dumb as hell. Who bus. smokes in the bathroom on the bus? Like, So they told us, like, you know, somebody has to admit. Because obviously there is somebody that's doing that. Somebody would. But... Or we're taking everybody to the police station. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> like, I didn't do nothing. I'm innocent. I never smoked mm -hmm. ever in my life. So basically, they had everybody get off the bus. The police came. They came with dogs that smelled us and everything. I'm pissed. I'm like, whoever did it, y'all need to speak the fuck up. Because I'm trying <laughs> to go home. <laughs> so they eventually got the guy. The guy said he had a medical marijuana card. And, you know, the police was like, in the state of such and such, because we was in Tennessee, you can't do that. And it's against the law, so you got to come to us. They took the guy. Yeah. The bus driver didn't want to, um, she didn't want to ride the bus no more. That's when we got a new bus driver, yeah. remember? Because a lot of people were telling her that she was rude, and then yeah, somebody else rude, came and changed her shift, I think. Mm -hmm. So everybody started complaining to the new lady. And then we went to Knoxville. Ain't no special stuff happened in Knoxville. It was just a delay as usual. Yeah, it was always delayed. And then didn't we have to stand in line for something? And then they was going to change our tickets? Yeah, because it was a delay. Yeah. So, yeah, that happened too. And then what was next? Charlottesville? Charlottesville. Mm -hmm. Come on, John. Remember when that Charlottesville attack happened in Charlottesville and the little, you know, the, the little angry nationalists was just doing whatever they wanted to do, going wild and out with the tiki sticks and stuff? I was kind of scared to go then. So I'm thinking, you know, we only had like a 20-minute rest stop there. Yeah. That 20-minute rest stop turned into turns. six hours. So many people was complaining. I was so annoyed. By then, I was annoyed. 
so the guy had ordered a pizza for everybody but that pizza ain't do nothing no it wasn't one pizza it was like three pizzas mm. but everybody was so annoyed that that pizza didn't do nothing it didn't and then everybody started joining on each other maybe everybody doesn't know what joining means but yeah, I don't know, but Johnny, man, look it up. <laughs> okay. Basically going on each other, talking about each other. And basically, there was this older guy. I thought he was looking at Samina first, so I had looked away. Because he pointed to us, and then he said. Man, he was talking to me the whole time. Mm -hmm. So he comes up to me, and he was like, why aren't you smiling? I'm like, why should I smile? It was nothing to smile about. He was like, why you look so mad? I'm like, because of this delay. He was like, well, we all in this delay. Because we had already been traveling for like 30 hours by then. Oh, but no. I wasn't the only one that was mad. Man, it was this old lady that was mad too. <laughs> she just took off her wig. She was like, <laughs> she was like, bump this. I've been traveling for 40 hours and I ain't been able to take off my wig yet. I was supposed to be in D.C. So basically, the bus driver that was gonna come pick us up from Charlottesville, mm -hmm. was it a he or she, whoever? I can't remember. I can't remember either. Was missing. Mm -hmm. And was waiting, waiting, waiting this whole time. And then they, they, they told us that this person was traveling on an Uber from DC. Yeah, to they Charlottesville. had, because they had to get an um, um, emergency driver. Yeah. So everybody was even more mad about that. And then it was people that was talking about Ubers and stuff. They was like, oh, let's get an Uber to D.C. <laughs> and I'm like, are y'all crazy? And they're like, um... And, and we were supposed cause... to go to a party. I'm sorry for cutting you off. Yeah. We were supposed to go to a party. Oh, yeah. Aaliyah's party. Yeah. And we didn't even get there. My friend thought I was lying. And then the driver finally came. Mm -hmm. For some reason, everybody was talking to us. Dude was like, you want some of my Starburst? I'm like, no. Because they were still playing. Because everybody was so annoyed and mad. They, they were just trying to loosen up the, mm -hmm, the, atmosphere. Yeah, the atmosphere, I guess. But I wasn't feeling it still. Yeah. So, basically, we went to Richmond from Charlottesville. And we got off. And we had to wait there. Richmond wasn't so bad. We had to wait there for like two hours. Yeah. I got some food. I changed my clothes finally after so many hours. <laughs> you know what I'm about to say. I threw my socks and my underwear in, in the trash, trash can. <laughs> so that them do more her nasty ass underwear. <laughs> Cause I didn't want to bring them with me. What am I yeah, gonna do with I'm some, some underwear so and some about, socks yeah. that I've been wearing for this many hours? I'm sorry, y'all, but it's I the truth, though. And I was so annoyed. I wanted to take them off of the bag. Me too. It was so uncomfortable. We couldn't even sleep for not even a minute on the bus. We was on the road for two days, so yeah. without baths. I wasn't. So once we hit Richmond, I knew we was going to be in D.C. I woke up. I was like, yeah, I'm back home. I was yeah. so happy. It was like a relief getting to D.C. Yeah. But that was it, y'all. Thanks for listening. Yeah, that was our little story time. With Key and Tammy. Yeah, Key and Tammy. <laughs> but before y'all leave this video, do not forget to like, like comment, comment, and hit that subscribe button and become a member of the Yes, yes family. family. Bye, y'all.